Yo, what's up, y'all? Back with another review. Today, we are going to be talking about the On Cloud Monster. So, you might be thinking, okay, On, I've definitely seen people wearing these, you know, like tons of people nowadays. This is, this is kind of the hyped up uh, running shoe brand right now. Um, and I don't know why exactly it's all hyped up all of a sudden. Um, I'd be seeing people wear these with like jeans and stuff and just like all over the place. And I'm just like, wow, like I didn't know on was getting this big, but they have finally debuted their, uh, running shoe that everyone was waiting for. And it is the cloud monster. Um, I have been wearing these for the past 15 miles I've ran and uh, I've gotten a good uh, gist for this, for these actually. And um, I really want to review it, wanted to review it for y'all. Shout out to Believe in the Run, you already know. Uh, they helped me out. So yeah, let's just get started. Um, so on, you know, it's a Swiss uh, based running company. Um, they make apparel. Uh, I've known about them for quite a while now. Um, but I've just never really purchased any of their products due to the fact that a lot of reviewers didn't really like the previous on models for actually running. I mean, I'm sure you can walk in them, but the whole cloud tech was very, um, what do you call it? As many people said, it was not cloud feeling. Um, that was due to due to the speed plate underneath, you know, um, the amount of cushioning that was in the shoe, not talking about this shoe, but previous models, they were just uh, horrific. So this is kind of the first shoe that like people really got excited about um, in the running community. And yeah, I mean, it didn't really, it didn't disappoint, that's for sure. Uh, like, let's just get started on the upper, on the upper, you know, um, it's got this like welded seam right here. It's got the welded uh, on logo. They kind of switched up uh, and made it huge logo for this shoe. This is the bottom right here with the Cloud Tech midsole. I mean, outsole. Oh, this color is so sick, y'all. It's got the on logo on the back and then kind of what it looks like and it's got the orange i i just absolutely love this shoe um on this side you know it has the uh swiss flag on the back they only put it on the right um but you know this was an amazing shoe straight out of the gate i mean um just felt really cushiony it, it has this like weird like like flowing but like uh like feels like you're stepping on like little pods as you're kind of like propelling forward it's kind of a weird sensation but you kind of get used to it after like the first run you really get used used to it uh so i really like that it's just like a really interesting sensation that is like really unique to this shoe uh so you know this was basically the shoe that had the most cloud tech in it the most on set it themselves and when they were testing this this literally had the most so basically all the previous models that everyone didn't like said that had cloud a lot of cloud tech but it didn't really like have a lot and so this kind of was like the first on shoe that actually had like some type of like cloud feeling i'm not saying it was like this like like you're running on clouds, but it had kind of that like sensation that they have been talking about. So yeah, it's the most that they've ever put in a shoe. I wanna also talk to you about a problem that I already have had within like the first 15 miles, which is kind of insane, is I don't know if you y'all can actually like really see, but like this left shoe right here, the, the welded seam right here as you see i'm flexing the shoe so every time you basically run in it it's it's coming out basically that's not supposed to be happening considering um these are literally brand new 
yeah, it's literally coming like undone. And it's not happening on the other shoe, but it's happening with this shoe. It's a very, um, I always get very scared about welded seams because if they're not really done properly, it's basically just like a heat bonded material. Um, and whatever they do in the factory, it bonds it together. But sometimes when it's not bonded correctly, it will come off over time. This time it literally came off literally within the first like 10 miles not even that so that's definitely a problem that y'all have to look out for the welded seams definitely look out for that um the upper you know it's pretty thin it's kind of this like it's a recycled material uh as you can see here it's a recycled material it's very thin shallow toe box so for people that have like um wider foot um somewhat like expands during running um that's just something to look out for but i mean it, it's worked for tons of people so the shallow toe box is just like i'm just knocking it because it was it's it's just a little shallow uh and you know this upper on this specific shoe isn't as technical as like the other shoes that they have like the cloud stratus or something like that but this is just a lot more like simplistic in this specific shoe which i kind of like actually i like the look of this to be honest and yeah i mean i think with the higher outsole they kind of made this top part a little uh shallower so that's what I think that they were trying to go for. As what Believe in the Run said in their uh, On Cloud Monster review, you know, the thin midsole, or not the thin midsole, the uh, the upper can be for some people. It could not be. It's kind of just like hit or miss. You have to really try it out to really see it um, and see if you really like it, to be honest. I think it's fine, but it's definitely not super locked down. Considering this lacing system, you're literally just relying on the gussets right here to really lock you down and to be honest i mean it's a very thin upper and thin tongue so there's not a really a whole lot of cushioning there so when you're like strapping them down you can kind of feel it on the top of your foot but that's me nitpicking obviously of course also what i wanted to talk about was that this shoe is just for your daily miles training i'd say like maybe like 10 miles these are not competition shoes obviously you can wear them in a competition if you really feel like it but it's definitely not recommended considering when they first introduced this this is kind of just like a daily trainer type deal it wasn't really for competition there's a six millimeter toe drop this is it's not a stability shoe by any means i think it's like pretty neutral actually um there's like a little more like cushioning right here but I think it's a pretty neutral shoe. It's not really big big on stability. Uh, they definitely run a little big for a fact. I'm even looking at my notes here. I just wanted to make sure I really got that in the video. They run a little big. My left foot is slightly uh, bigger than my right. I can really tell that on my right shoe, it's just, it's pretty big. So I have to like double sock to be honest. Um, it's not the end of the world if I just wear one sock but it's just like, it, it's noticeable. Many people have said the sizing is very interesting because they run a little longer, but if you get the smaller size, it could be too tight. But if you get your true to size, it could be a little too big. So I don't know, I just gambled, ran, tr I, I did true to size, size 13 for me, but I'm sure if I got 12 and a half, I could have gotten away with it, but it would have been a little tighter. And I don't think my left side would have fit really nice because uh, a previous shoe that I had reviewed, the Adidas Tin Man Elite Bostons, I got a 12 and a half in those. And I was literally getting like blisters on my toes due to the fact that my toe was literally rubbing at the front of the toe box. So I didn't try 12 and a half in these. Not many retailers got it, got this shoe uh, where I am but maybe at your local running store, they have these shoes in stock. I know for a fact that this running shoe is a hot item. It's sold out on On's website. It's sold out at many, on many websites. Um, for a while, they only had women's sizing. So I was really happy to get these because they're just, this colorway is just like so sick to me. It's just like super sick. It's just an amazing shoe. Um, really gave uh, 
people something to be excited about uh, when talking about On, even though it's a really hyped up company right now. This is uh, the outsole right here. It's this outsole right here is pretty thin when it comes to the individual pods. This is literally like what's touching the ground and there's only that amount of, amount of foam. So little like, um, what do you call it? Debris or like uh, bark uh, or any like weeds that are like out of the ground have gotten like, I'll see after the run that a, like a little thing is like sticking up um, underneath the shoe, like even right now, like there's literally like something right there. So yeah, I mean, just something to look out for. Make sure you don't like step on anything, uh, sharp. This, in order to get this on your foot, it will run you about 170, probably without shipping or taxes, depending on where you live. Um, I mean, it's pretty standard. I thought it was gonna be around 200 to be honest, considering On's caliber right now. Um, they're really uh, popping off and basically like off the shelves in a heartbeat. Um, and this shoe is definitely, literally, probably the most uh, sought after shoe that On has made. Considering all the rave reviews that everyone has been saying from all the different running shoe reviewers, everything, this is one of the most anticipated shoes of the year from On. And it's just it's just a very interesting shoe. It's pretty uh, amazing to be honest with all this cloud tech uh, going on. And it's different than any other On shoe that they have made. So I really think that y'all should give this a look. Really, this is a nice shoe. Other than me nitpicking and talking about like the shallow toe box, um, the lace, the lace issue, and this like piece coming undone right here. That's really about it, to be honest. And yeah, hopefully y'all can get this on Cloud Monster and tell me how you guys like it. This is an amazing shoe, uh, other than the things that I was nitpicking about. Let me know in the comments down below uh, what y'all think about this shoe. Uh, I know it's a hot, hot item right now, so uh, if you can get your hands on this, that would be amazing. I was super excited when they came in the mail. And yeah, just let me know how you like it. Peace out, y'all. Stay positive out there, be kind. More reviews are on the way, and I got a few vlogs on the way too, but um, I'm very busy right now with school. Bear with me, but yeah. We're sticking to the usual scheduled planning, one video a week. Try to squeak out two here or there, but it's coming to summer, so I think uh, that will be more doable. So yeah, y'all, uh, peace out, and uh, see y'all soon.